Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. I want to first say thank you all so much for all your support through all of this whole pandemic nightmare. I really do appreciate it. Okay, let's get into this. Nancy Pelosi said she hopes the Republicans will support the stimulus bill, but they will not take any of their tools off the table. She is talking about the Reconciliation Act because, as you know, everyone has said that if the Republicans don't get on board with this stimulus plan, that they will just push it through with the Reconciliation Act. So whether or not they help or not, it will get done. Let's just hope that don't change also. Joe Biden said this week that he is open to making the stimulus more targeted. Y'all, Joe Biden all through his campaign said $2,000 to all Americans. That is what won him the election. And now it seems like he may be backing off of that. It's not a good move. He's got, he's got a lot of people backing him. He's got a lot of people really liking what he's doing and what he's saying. But now if he goes back on his word, he's going to lose all of that. We're going to be in the same situation as we was with President Trump. It will be the same thing, like deja vu. AOC said that if Biden tightens the eligibility for who gets the check, that will make the American people think the government does not care about the middle class. Hello, AOC? We already believe that. We've always believed that ever since this whole thing started, before it started even. So whatever Biden does right now is not going to change it. The only way he could change it and make the American people know that they do care about us is to do what he said he was going to do and send that check out now. He's already, what, three weeks late with it? He said right after he takes the office. The Dems, I'm sorry, the Democrats in the House are putting the final touches on the stimulus package. And they're including all the steps that they will have to take to get it passed through the Reconciliation Act. Y'all, they, they are planning on this Reconciliation Act. I believe it's a done deal. They're going to have to push it through in order to get it. And they only need the 51 vote. That's going to be very easy to get. So I still feel confident it's coming. It should have came three weeks ago like we was promised. President Biden is still working with the Republicans to get the package passed through a bipartisan vote. But we only have two weeks before the focus shifts over to the Trump impeachment trial which is just a big waste of time and resources and money. Joe Biden, I mean, I'm getting the names mixed up, y'all, I'm sorry. Jerome Powell is trying to get Congress to act quickly on the stimulus package. Powell says that there are 9 million Americans still on unemployment because of the COVID pandemic, and we need this now. I agree with Jerome Powell again. The White House is still talking with the Democrats and the Republicans to see if they can reach a compromise for a bipartisan agreement. There's an awful lot of talking going on, but no action. They have been talking on this for now, even in the past administration for like, what, eight months? They've been talking. Is that all they can do is talk? Can they get anything done? That's not only this administration. That's the past administration also. Tightening the income limits. They're trying to do that now. 
people that's making $75,000, over $75,000 would not get the check. Couples making over $150,000 would not get the check. But didn't Joe Biden say all throughout his campaign that all Americans would get $2,000? Now, y'all, I, I do understand completely going down to $1,400. That's not a problem with me because we already got 600 of it. So $1,400 is not a problem with me. But tightening the limits after he says all Americans, that's just not, not a good move. Everyone should get this check because everyone will spend this check one way or the other, whether they go to the store and spend it or whether they put it in a savings account or the stock market. Because as you know, the bank is not going to hold on to that money. They're going to lend it to people that can use it to build houses and businesses and factories and take care of their families. So one way or the other, this money will be spent and it will create tax revenue for the Federal Reserve. And that will bring our economy back. Nothing else will bring our uh, economy back but more tax revenue. That's a surefire way to get more tax revenue flowing. The new Demo Democrat coalition is now demanding automatic triggers that will keep the unemployment boost going as long as it's needed throughout this pandemic. That is a good thing because if you're on unemployment and you're wondering from one week to the next, will I get my check? That's got to be a living hell. It would give them people a peace of mind if they know every week that check is coming. So the automatic triggers would be a good thing. Joe Biden reinstated the insurance program dubbed as Obamacare yesterday with his executive order. Now, I'm all for this, but the, the reason I wasn't all for it before is because they said you could keep your existing insurance companies, and we found out that that wasn't true. Now, most people probably lost their insurance by now because they can't afford it. So this will help them. But also before, you was fined on your income tax if you didn't participate in it. I hope they're not doing that now because people don't have the money for them fines. Y'all, President, ex-President Trump is in Florida this week. He's getting everything together for his impeachment trial. Y'all, I'm gonna start calling this impeachment trial what it really is, and that is a stimulus package distraction. So anytime you hear me talking about the stimulus package distraction, you know I'm talking about the Donald Trump impeachment trial. Because this trial will not go anywhere. They've already said it is no way they can convict him. So why bother trying? Quit wasting time, quit wasting money, quit wasting resources and get a stimulus package out to the people. Y'all, now they believe that Donald Trump is going to make a big comeback with his own political party, and he's gonna name it the Patriot Party. Supposedly, he's already got it off the ground and running. That's fine, that's his right to do that. But through the years, you've you see all these new parties popping up. The only two parties that people really vote in is Democrat and Republican, sometimes the independents, not much. So if he starts his party, that just be another one in the many. And I don't believe it's gonna go nowhere because I don't know of many people that will back him. I'm, he still got his loyal following, and it's a lot of them, but I just don't see it going nowhere. Y'all, I have to ask y'all this, and I'm sorry I have to ask you this. Are y'all sick and tired of hearing about Robin Hood stocks, GameStop stocks, 
and Weeble. I am so sick of hearing about these. I mean, if you're on here following the stimulus package videos, you most likely don't have money to gamble away in the stock market. So why is people pushing them so much? I mean, if you got money to gamble away, you probably don't need a stimulus check. It's just my opinion. Y'all, please comment below what you think about all this garbage that's going on now. And tell me what you think about this GameStop. And uh, don't hold back. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Say what's on your mind. Get it off your chest. And just know I love you all. And we will get through all this with Jesus Christ. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for our leaders. No matter if you support them or not, they still need your prayers. Say a prayer for all the people that's hurting in America and around the world through any reason, whether it be COVID, our governments, or anything. We need a healing for the world, not just the United States. Y'all, I love you all. Please watch the video that's popping up here now. And don't forget, please leave your comments. And let my comment section be your sounding board. Sound off. Let us know how you feel. I love you all. Ciao.